Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to talk about my tattoos. It's not a lot. I think I have one, two, three, four with this one. And um, to be honest, it wasn't even, they're not that painful. I think the one I struggled the most with was probably my hand and that was my finger. It was killing me, dude. When it hit my finger, he started right on my finger like it was pain, like I could not handle it. And then to top it off, it was like he would hit it and then he'd like work his way up and then when he was like shading it oh bro bro it was horrible like i didn't i didn't want to go through it anymore i was just like dude hurry up like but yeah that's um that was my what second second tattoo blessed my hand here it is I, people like it especially like this part they like all the details but the price i paid and the work he was putting in i don't know i just like people that grind so like i loved it and i'll probably just like touch it up make it look a little better but yeah that's that one um the one who did this one his name was Ulises and TJ um I'll drop everyone's Instagrams in the bottom link in the description and then the next one the very first one I did was this whole my whole forearm blasted it out in the summer dude it was like the worst idea ever because like we were going on like jet skis beach where else did we go? Went hiking, jumped cliffs, like it was crazy. And I was like, damn bro, I got it at the wrong time. And I wasn't supposed to go in the water, but I did. But I mean, it healed really good. Like there's no spots that are like, oh bro, like fucked up. It's just filigree. So that's what they call that. Filigree, money rose, some more filigree, all the way up. So this is what you gotta put into perspective. When you tell like an artist like, oh yeah, I want this, this, and this. Like he's gonna do his best to put it all in like, piece and you just have to like appreciate the art and the artist's work and like it wasn't exactly what I asked him for but like it came out really good and you just have to learn to love the piece I guess because I mean it's forever you can't take it off and then my brother and me have this one the money rose we both have it and it's pretty dope like there's not really like a reason we got it it was just like yeah let's just both get a money rose because we were both working like at the same time we were both grinding it out and we were like, yeah, let's get it. So we both got it. Mine's freaking huge though. Covers like my whole arm. It covers like a little piece. And then I also got this one. So this one I got with, I think her name was like Bethany Zan or something like that. I don't remember, but I know her Instagram. It's like disastrous, something like that. This is like, I don't know. It's like my favorite piece. You see it? That's like my favorite piece for some reason. It just like stands out. Like I'll just be like chilling and then boom, you see it. So that's why I like it. Low key, I had it planned like for the future. I wanted to do like a matching tat with someone eventually, but I was like, nah, like I'm gonna get this on my own. Like I don't want any ties to like someone like that. I don't know. Cause at first it was like for me, tats were like, oh yeah, I want to get something sick. Like I wouldn't want something like that I do. It was, it was like a weird, because I know like tattoos describe people but now I kind of like shifted towards that like I'm like oh yeah the things I do or represent me I want to get so like people look at me and they're like oh yeah that's that's him you know so that's kind of the route I'm taking with these tattoos now and so that's when I got this one same person disastrous it says Ausalia it's Portuguese so it stands for like daring bold like things like that like atrevido you know but like I got it to like signify how I play on the pitch like because I play soccer those are the tats I kind of have right now I just have so what one two three four um plans for the future I think I want to blast my back like for sure I want to blast my back my whole leg too that's probably next for sure start off my leg my left leg like I have something really cool going for that I want it I want it to be like um how do I put it like religious like I praise my left foot because I'm a lefty so that's the route I'm taking with that and in my back I just want to go full like savage beast mode like a skull a tiger something like that as for the pain though like I said I slept my very first tattoo it was probably like seven I want to say five to seven hours I don't really remember I paid like I think I paid like a G like yeah a thousand dollars and it was like his rate was I think 200 an hour and his deposit was just like a hundred bucks and it go it counts towards the tattoo so I was like yeah let's, okay, let's get it but yeah his work was like really good like he takes his time he's very detailed like if you could see like 
there's really like nothing you could be like, oh yeah, he messed up right there. Watch, check it out. Like, I love it. Looks really good. Like I said, it didn't hurt like at all. I napped through, I kept waking up. People would come to our table and they're like, oh damn, that's sick. Like, is that his first time? He's like, yeah, bro, I can't believe it. He's just chilling there. Like, he's not even like, I don't know. I feel like he was like overhyping it or maybe he was trying to hype me. But I was like knocked out. Like, I was like, oh hell no, no training today. I took the day off from work. I was like, I'm gonna nap, bro. So yeah, I napped through that one. No breaks, I didn't take a break. I was like, oh, I don't know if I should take a break. Cause I just literally went in with like the straight amount of money. I was like, I don't wanna like take a break. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be this much. He took a break. I was I didn't know it was like my very first tat. So I was just like, just gonna sit through it. And it didn't hurt, honestly, like until he got to like some parts that he worked on already, like to touch it up, like the little details. And like, I feel him like shading it. I was like, oh bro, like it's burning. But it's not like a bad burn. It was like, it just bugs you. You're just like, oh. Like, have you ever like scratching yourself with like a metal thing, kind of like a knife? You bump into something and it scratches you, something sharp. Like that's how it feels. That's about it. My hand, I paid, I think he was charging me like 20 bucks to be honest. 20, 20 or 50. No, I think it was 20. He was like, he was like, it was a lot of work, bro. He was like, I want to do more on you. Like, if you're down, I was like, nah, that's it for now, bro. Like, thank you. Uh, how much is it going to be? He was like, 20 bucks. And I was like, what? Like, like this is, honestly, it's really good work. Like, there's just some lines I got to touch up. Maybe, like, some spots I got to detail a little bit more. But, like, I can go do that with him again. But yeah, I was like, dude, I can give, I think I gave him, like, 80 bucks. I was like, here, bro, like, like, thanks for your work. Like, and it, I appreciate people's work. Like, if you go somewhere and you like how they work, you're gonna, like, show them that you like it. Like, you're not gonna be like, oh, like, I'm gonna go with them because, like, fuck, I'm already here. Like, nah, like, do you, make sure you do your research on someone, how much they charge, like, what style they do, because, like, this, this is on you forever, you know? And, I mean, it could be, like, not the best work but as long as you appreciate the work like and you like it and you fall in love with it like i think it's that's what really matters the most because it's yours now like you can't get rid of it i mean you can but it's like did you just pay that to get rid of it you know what i mean so this one my my crown and the lettering down my neck i paid 120 120 or 150 i don't remember and she knocked it out probably like in 45 minutes an hour it's in I think I was in PV. 45 to an hour. This one, she did it. She knocked it out first. I was just chilling there. Like, I thought it was gonna hurt, but nah, I didn't even feel it. Like, it made me wanna get like this blasted out. <laughs> but yeah, she did this one pretty quick. Boom, boom, boom. I chose the lettering. Like, she pulls it out on her tablet, or you could show her, like, oh, I want this lettering. And she's like, all right, let me find it. She pulls it out on her, like, iPad. Real quick, boom, boom, you choose. And she's like, you want it this size, this size. You, like, start checking it, you know? Um, I really recommend someone goes with you just to be like check the positioning like the alignment or something Because like if you get something and it's like a little off it's gonna be like oh damn like I can't fix that you know You gotta cover it up But it might not look the best depending on what you get mm, That's why I like really recommend someone go with you just to be like oh yeah it looks good right there or, Like you know what make it like a little smaller a little thicker you know what I mean That's what I recommend Um what else yeah and then this one she knocked it out pretty quick my crown probably like 20 minutes yeah i wasn't there longer than an hour like it was just like boom let's get it she's like give me a give me a few minutes i just gotta fix the bag print out this like boom 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 quick done and make sure you tip your tattoo artist because that's what they do for a living and it shows that you appreciate their work. That's just you, that shows them like, oh yeah, I like, I like the work, you know? Cause imagine you're like, you like they tat someone, they're there for like hours, they're putting in like their heart and soul into it and they're just like, oh, finally done, like I hope they like it. Cause it's, it's like everything, you know, like you do something creative for someone and they're like, it's always that like, oh damn, like I hope they like it. Like you tip them, it shows that you like them or you like talk to them, you're like, yeah, I really like it. Like it looks really good. Like just let them know. Cause like they've, it's, it looks really tiring, like, it's hard. And another one. 
um, not everybody's parents are the same. Like some people are like, oh, you're not gonna get a tattoo, like not under my roof. Like you should respect that. I mean, I, I kind of didn't. My mom didn't like them. She said no. I told her I was gonna get one like later on in the future when I moved out, but I kind of jumped the gun because I was like, oh, I'm working. I have the money now. Like I want to do it now. Like it's, it's my life. It's my body, you know? It's like, you know what? I gotta treat them both the same. And she didn't talk to us probably for like, I want to say like a week or two. She talked to us like, oh, go do this, or can you do this, or like, stuff like that, but she wouldn't like conversate with us, and it kind of sucked that I was like, what the hell, dude, like, it's weird, but I mean, it's something you gotta kind of like put up with, but just make sure your parents are kind of okay with it if you're still living with them, because at the end of the day, like, if you're not, I don't know, just, they're your parents, just gotta listen to them, but um, they love you, so if you get it, I guess they'll still like talk to you. There's not gonna be like, oh yeah, get the hell out of here, like, I'm pretty sure some people do, but, I guess it depends on the person's parents. Just make sure they're okay with it and you're okay with it. Just know your consequences, I guess. So the funny thing is I got this one for my mom because she loves elephants. And then they stand for like loyalty and she didn't like it. <laughs> I went through like a whole swollen hand for like, I want to say like a week, week and a half and it burned, dude, it burned. When I was under the sun, it would burn. If you do get them, do them for yourself and something that they stand for you. Or sometimes you just get a badass tattoo, you know, like it's up to the person. As long as you appreciate it and you love it. That's pretty much like the whole thing. Make sure you moisturize, take care of it with lotion. Stay out of the sun, don't sweat, stay out of the water, like quick showers. You'll see it gets like really dry when you get one and then you just like, that's when you gotta put like, um, what is it called? Aquaphor. You put aquaphor for a few days and then when it's like looks kind of normal then you start like applying lotion and then that's when like after like a week of lotion or a few days you should be straight but it's not fully healed until like i want to say like mine healed like after the month you're like yeah healed but it i don't think it's like fully healed it probably takes like two three months to fully heal depends a person it's like my hand i think it took like three four months to heal dude everything else was like boom my neck one was probably like a week two weeks and I was like it was quick compared to this like this took forever but then again the like the shading and they're still going at it for like the longest so that's probably why so that's pretty much it with my tattoos um I've gotten them all here like local or close to me I hope you like the video um make sure you like comment and subscribe it tells me like a lot like if you like the video it lets me know like oh they like the video uh, when you comment I kind of see like oh yeah like they like this part or, like I want to interact with you guys more so like let me know in the comments like what your next tattoo is and maybe I can like tell you like if it hurts because I know like my brother has like more tattoos than me like he just goes for it and he tells me like yeah I hurt no I didn't hurt I didn't feel it like they went deep they didn't go deep so comment down below let me know if you're trying to get a tattoo or where you're gonna go with or I could like tell you how my artist works you know also, I've noticed like more than half, like more than half of the people that watch the videos aren't subscribed yet. Like if you were to subscribe, like it'd mean the world to me, dude. Like I put this like crazy ass goal by my birthday, which is May 1st. So hopefully we hit that. But yeah, that's going to be a wrap for this video.